Okay, hi everybody. This is my third preview video for my Space Arena game. Um, so I want to show you where the game's at, but also I want to talk to you about a problem I've been having with performance and how I kind of sussed out where that was. It's kind of interesting, and I actually want to compare uh, Mac OS X to Windows to Linux and kind of see where the performance uh, is best for the Python Turtle module. So let me go ahead and show you where the game is right now. Okay, so I've added a little sidebar here. I've made the play area here. Now, up here you'll see I have a little frames per second running. Uh, each second's updated. So you can see I'm getting about 14, 15, 16 frames per second, which is obviously far too slow. Now, it's kind of fun to watch, uh, watch it in slow motion, don't get me wrong. Uh, but yeah, it's not, not running as I would like. So I, I you know, I thought that what was going on was that I just the game had just become too complex. Um, the turtle module just wasn't capable of displaying the graphics that I need. I was thinking about, okay, this is this is the time to bite the bullet and go use PyCharm. Get that guy. Um, but here's what I discovered. So taking a look over here, you can see there's some flashing here with the text. So that's kind of a clue. But what I did was I enabled the radar. One, one of the things I, I tried to do was, okay, well, I'll make the radar only on the screen sometimes because I figured that rendering the radar would really slow the game down. So let's take a look. I'm going to go ahead and switch from this little text thing to the radar and watch what happens with the frames per second. So now I've got this cool little radar display and my frames per second, per second have actually gone up from fif around 15 to around 20 which was totally, totally counterintuitive. I had totally assumed that, of course, rendering something this complicated, extra graphics, was going to take a lot more processing power, but as it turns out, it didn't. So that kind of gave me a clue as to where the issue was at. So let me close that and make a couple changes here. So it kind of dawned on me after seeing that, that writing text on the screen is a very slow operation. So I'm just going to comment these lines out and I'm going to hide all the text on the screen and see basically what happens, oops, and see what happens to my program. See what the speed difference is. So I'm going to go ahead and run it again. So all of the pen.write lines have been commented out. There's four of them. So let's go ahead and hit F5 and see where we're at with frames. And, oh my gosh, so we have jumped up to 47, 49, almost 50 frames a second. Uh, earlier I had 60, but it's probably running a little slowly because I'm doing a screen recording now. And But it, now the game's actually a lot more fun as things are bouncing around and there's, you can see things will start flying around a little bit faster. Oops, I don't want to destroy my power up. And now let me go ahead and turn the radar on and see how that affects the frames per second. As you see, wow, it's actually gone up, uh, which was certainly not expected. Okay, now it's back down. So interestingly enough, you can see here all the graphics that I'm rendering, all these enemies and everything that's on the screen, it's not such a big deal. You can see the background stars, you can see the enemies, you see the power-ups, the explosions, all those things. Let me go ahead and try and show you it. Just, it really doesn't affect the frames per second that much. Now again, without the uh, recording the screen, I was getting about 60 frames per second at this point. So this tells me that I really need to reconsider using text in this game. So I have to think about how am I going to show numerical information, how many enemies are left, how am I going to show the score, what are my options there? And I haven't figured that out yet. I'm still thinking about it. Now, on a side note, I decided to test this on a couple different computers. Now, my MacBook here that uh, I'm running this on, this is a MacBook Pro 13 inch. Uh, my school provided it to me. I did not buy it. I would not spend that much money on a computer, to be honest. You can get these now at about, for about 1200 bucks US. Um, this is a bit of an older model now. It's two, three years old, something like that. And it's supposed to be pretty top of the line, but you can see I was getting almost 60 frames a second there. Uh, pretty expensive computer, pretty high end. Uh, I'll talk about the specs in a minute. And so what I did was I took this code and I ran it on a crappy, really crappy uh, 
netbook. And uh, so you can see it's basically a 11 inch mouse computer. It's this local Japanese brand of uh, yeah, laptop and they're, they're cheap. So this thing has a Celeron processor and compared to my MacBook Pro, it has less memory, much slower clock speed. Now clock speed's not everything, of course. MacBook Pro has an i5. And I also ran it on my Asus ZenBook, which is an i5, a 1.6 gigahertz clock speed, eight, eight gigs of RAM and Intel processor. But interestingly enough, the difference between these systems is the operating system. So we got Mac, of course, on the MacBook, Windows on the mouse computer, and Linux on my ZenBook, because that's what I run personally. And you can see here are the numbers. So the original code with the text, this low end MacBook, or not sorry, this low end uh, laptop, practically a netbook, actually beat Mac OS X and Linux hands down by about 10 frames a second. When I engaged the radar, the difference wasn't quite as big, but you can still see that the Mac is, is really struggling with the text. So here there's still a little bit of text rendered. So Windows shot up to 30 frames a second, which is still 50% faster. And Linux was around 27, so very similar performance there. Now once we get rid of all the text, that's where we start to see some serious differences. So the Mac, you know, to its credit, finally with no text, shot up to 60 frames a second. The Windows computer, again, Celeron 1.1 gigahertz, only went up to 33, but for this you know, pretty old, it's actually several years old, and very low end spec computer, that's some respectable numbers. Now Linux, of course, unsurprisingly, is the champion, 130 frames per second with no text and with the radar rendering. And with no radar, you can see the difference here. Linux, I got up to 240, it was peaking out at some crazy number like 260, but it was averaging around 240, 220, something like that. Now Windows, again, respectable performance for a, a very small, very low cost, very low powered computer. And again, the Mac, the Mac implementation of the Turtle module is just clearly slower. I, I don't know if it's a developer thing, I don't know if it's a Mac thing, but you can see here that despite costing twice as much as this computer, uh, well, maybe about 50% more, maybe, but when it came out probably a few years ago, it was probably about twice as much. I got this, I think, for around seven or 800 bucks. On, on Amazon, and the Windows computer was probably a few hundred dollars. I don't even remember. Uh, I didn't buy it, it was my wife's computer actually. And uh, you can see here, it really holds its own. So you know, respect to the Windows developers and respect to whoever maintains the Windows port of the Python Turtle module. You guys have done a great job. So I don't know who gets the credit, but you deserve it for, again, such a, such an, a low spec computer. And you can see the charts here, how, Mac goes up here. Windows has a strong performance here, a strong performance here, and then of course, once the text is gone, the superior you know, specs of the computer really, really takes over. And interestingly, comparing Linux and Mac, which are both Unix-based operating systems, you can just see that Linux just far, far outperforms Mac. Um, so it should come as no surprise that I am a dedicated, uh, very happy Linux user. I use Mac because that's what my work provides and that's what my students use. So anyway, I uh, thought it was kind of interesting. I thought I'd share that with you, how I, uh, yeah, I ran into a problem, how I sorted it out, figured out what, where the issues were. Again, I don't know how I'm going to move forward with this, what I'm going to do yet about displaying the, the score data but I'm gonna give it some thought uh, between now and the time I finish the program. Hopefully I will have an answer for you that will satisfy everybody's needs. So anyway, stay tuned for updates. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so already. This is a wild ride. I'm very excited. I'm even more excited, I should say, about this program. So thanks for tuning in, everybody. Take care.